dear brothers from planet Earth. I am Ashta Sharon. Once again, I have come to be with you. Bring all the love I have within me, and with it, all the love of all those who are with me at this moment. Every day, our plans come true. Each day, the process continues at the appropriate speed to bring the least impact to all of you. Gaia is on her path of full ascension, calmly, following her path. And attracting those who have effectively allowed themselves to be transformed, they have allowed themselves to learn, have allowed themselves to prepare for a new time. You have to feel. Time is not to be seen, it's not touchable. Time is to feel. Feel in your heart, everything we say. Feel in your heart, everything we tell you. Feel in your heart, your own change, your own growth. And why feel in the heart and not perceive with the mind? Because every evolutionary step you take, if perceived by the mind, feeds the ego, feeds the feeling of superiority, it feeds the feeling of not belonging to the chaff. When feeling with your heart, it doesn't matter if at times you are still part of the chaff. By feeling with your heart, you feed the light quotient that is in your bodies. When feeling with the heart, their minds expand, their beliefs fall, their wrong habits begin to be easily challenged. This all doesn't happen by chance. You are being bathed in the light of Alcyon. And this light is transformative, it eliminates all those points that you need to leave behind. There are no miracles here. There will be no miracles. There will be no rescues, to avoid going through anything. Will there be help? Yes. Will there be growth? Yes. Will there be changes? Yes. But everyone will have already learned their lessons. Everyone who will be involved in preparing the new world will have already learned their lessons. Those who insist on not getting involved, on not wanting to learn, on not wanting to participate, will be asked, little by little, to leave the planet. They will be asked, little by little, to leave, not be part of the new process. And why do they think so, if everyone is being bathed in the light of Alcyon? Because despite all the high frequency of this light, the third dimension, its habits, its addictions, still attract these brothers more than a change, what evolution is. Are your minds aware that they are being called to evolve? Yes they are. And many don't know how to deal with it. Many are completely disoriented, completely unbalanced, increasing their lack of control even further, and moving them further and further away from evolution. Because nothing is being received with the heart. Everything is being received with the mind. And the mind tells you, this is not good. Get out of it. Stay where you are. His wishes will be respected, but they will not stay here. They will be taken out, little by little. And whoever remains on the planet will be taken to a new time, to a new job, to a new way of living and seeing life. Preparing for the fifth dimension is not an easy process, my brothers. But we have complete confidence that you will get there. You have done a beautiful job. All of you who are here now listening to me, receiving my energy and my love, have done a beautiful job, they have tried, through trial and error, to follow the path. They have been trying to find the right path, and they know exactly what they want, to evolve. So, the light of Alcyon acts on you as even more transformative, to make you see every day, every moment, another learning experience, another new way of seeing life. Always clarifying, always eliminating doubts and fears, bringing only light and certainty. Believe me, you will never regret what you are doing now. Of everything that you are giving up, and that in the future, you will see, that everything that you today think you are giving up, was something totally unnecessary in your lives. And that will be filled, by habits and customs that will effectively fill but not their minds, they will fill their hearts.